How you doing? Hello. Doing good. How are for you? life. For life. For life. For life. Uh, like I was just saying, Nick, man, you got your own show now. <laughs> you are balling out of control. And like I, and like I was saying you. to you, it's not my show, it's our show. Okay. It's, oh, it belongs it's to us you all. you enjoy show. No, it belongs to the whole cast and the whole crew. Joy, Joy don't want none of them problems. She remember what happened <laughs> at Antoine Fisher. She remember what happened to get to Richard that trash. She like, hey, that's days, okay? No, this is how you're doing it. Oh. <laughs> Tell them why, Joy. <laughs> Tell them why. Because you're the one on the poster. Ooh. Oh wait, I'm on the poster. You was on it, and he had got you put off. Oh no, I'm faded. In the, I'm faded. You can't oh. really tell. That's me. I'm kind of incognito in the speaking back. Speaking that, Bam. speaking of you being faded in the back, uh, it, what? It sounds like it's some a uh, animosity inside of that. You oh, are one of the I worst baby mamas <laughs> ever. <laughs> I was like, not right no, now. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> She said, "Am I high? Do I look high? Do y'all look at me? Can I tell them I'm high?" But yeah, you you his you his uh, child's mother on there. Are, are y'all yes. married? Are y'all married? Yes, but you don't be acting like it no more. Well, no, I mean we're separated. We're, se we're separated. about to. Be. No, he locked yeah. up. Y'all ain't separated. He locked up. Yeah. Right, <laughs> but I mean, legal. You know, papers are being served. Ha were served, and then we're, 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 then not, we're not signed, signed and then they're and then served, they're and then. Signed and then but you know, it's, yeah, it's complicated, <clears throat> and that's, that's it, it right there. Got mm -hmm. it. That's it. And right it there. seemed like he has a really, really hard time with that, and you feel like he abandoned you. That's the love uh, of his. That's this is the love of his life. No, right? not so much that he. I mean, I think that's more from his daughter's perspective because, in in a way, yeah, I mean, I would yeah, think yeah, that yeah, children yeah. don't really her growing up mm -hmm. and her dad leaving when what was she six? Mm -hmm. um, that's sort of a natural tendency to think that, but I don't. Marita didn't doesn't feel like he abandoned her. It's just she's trying to go on with her life because, as far as anyone's concerned, he's in prison for life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But and what so, about conjugal visits? And you, can you still come see him? And so it's kind of confusing. It's like like that, you, you're giving him hope. Not that kind of prison. You're taking it back. I think that. <laughs> She's obviously torn between the man that she loves and if he hadn't gotten, um, you know, railroaded in this way, they'd mm. still be together. Mm. At the same time, you know, she's trying to still provide for her, for her child and also do right by herself. So, you know, it's complicated. She's still got to kind of go out there and live her life. She can't, you know. But, you know, it's complicated. It's yeah, not binary. It get too complicated for me, though, right? Yeah. This, this is kind of where I kind of get torn in, and I feel like, like you know, he's acquitted, right? Like, he, he ends up getting himself off, obviously. Um, eventually. 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 But right eventually. now? But right now. In the he moment, where he he's at. Feeling. <laughs> yeah. Right. And I feel like when you sign up for that life as a, you know, baby mama or wife or whatever, that's what come. we might get caught, and you got to stay with me. Why didn't she want to? No, that's not exactly. I mean, listen, I think to eat, everyone has their own experience. You know, I have friends mm -hmm. who, um, at, I mean, I have loved ones who are incarcerated, uh -huh. one. And also, I have two good girlfriends who had partners who were incarcerated, uh -huh. right? And whatever they decided to do that was best for them, mm -hmm. I supported. Now, they mm -hmm. did the biz with they dudes and ride or die. Great. But you can't knock somebody for you know, taking that ride and deciding at some point that they have to do what's best for them. I mean, mm. life goes on eventually. Mm. So, you know, you can't really pass judgment on how people navigate But why that. does life have to go on with his best friend? Well, yeah, that's also complicated, right? He was also the one that was there for her in a way because he her man didn't really leave her with much options when he got locked up in terms of taking care of long-term goals, right? Making sure his family was always going to be good regardless of whether or not he got locked up or not, right? Okay. So she had to do what she had to do. She, now, homeboy was there, and he was he was holding her down, and, you know, sometimes, you know, that's, she happens, He was happens, holding yo. her down. He started holding she her happens. down. She happens. Okay. Okay. I, okay. And it's complicated. Gotcha. <laughs> and it's complicated. Right. And it's complicated. Right. So let me, let me, let me ask you this, uh, Nick. Uh, how do you how did you prepare for this role? Because you know I'm I'm really blown away by your your acting man. You got a lot of you got you got that Denzel in you, man. The walk, the talk, the mannerisms, bam, bam, the bam. very season season actor, man. Thank you. How did you prepare for this role? Um, spoke to some people who were formerly incarcerated, 
Mm. Um, spoke a lot to Isaac. Isaac's an amazing individual. Mm. He really, he gave, he gave me open access to any question I needed mm. answered. Um, spoke to, you know, some of the cast who had been in, uh, who had experienced similar things through fam family and friends. Um, and I read a lot. And then got together with Hank Steinberg, George Tillman, who did the pilot. And we, you know, I took some ideas to them and we fleshed them out and made them what you see on screen today. Mm, mm. Now, the perm, do, 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 like, did you, was that your choice not to have the perm in there? Or he who, didn't have a perm when he was locked up? Who, who the what? Who had a perm? perm? Who had a perm? Isaac. He not Puerto Rican. He hang around Puerto Rican. But oh, Puerto Rican. right. Because I was playing a, um, a version of <laughs> I'm playing a version yeah. of Isaac. Oh, God. <laughs> so I was playing a version of Isaac, not playing Isaac. So that's where it differed. So I didn't have to do a like for like for him. It was like a, you know, a version of him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha, yeah, yeah. gotcha, Because gotcha. it's inspired by story, not a based on story. Mm. Got it. Um, I got friends that's locked up, right? And um, one thing I noticed about people that like, they, they appreciate the, uh, the opportunity to get out so much and whatnot. They get out and they, they're able to flourish and uh, turn into millionaires and have stories like Isaac. Mm. What do you think accredit that to? <sighs> like I got a homeboy, his name is uh, uh, Sean Hartwell. Been locked up for 20 years. He gets mm. out and starts this campaign, fuck prison, and does the jumpsuits and all that. Yeah. And he's a millionaire now. I it's think, like not taking you know, life for granted. You've got to take life for, yeah, and you have a lot of time to think about your life while you're in prison. And, you know, the loss of life, not obviously death in this case. Freedom. Gives you um, an insight into what life really has to offer. So when you come out, you've got two options. Mm. You either grab it, you know, by the horns and you go with it, and you go with it somewhere positive, mm. or you continue the life that can actually get you back in there again. Mm. And some choose one way, others choose another. Mm. Last question, Joy. Um, I've been a big fan of yours since I was 21 years old. I almost joined the Navy <laughs> because of you. I'm like, what? Oh, and oh. Fish, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. How did you prepare for this role? And how close is that character to who you are today outside of not holding him down if he gets locked up? Oh, you know what? What happened? You said that shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have any kids. I'm not a grandmother, but... Um, like I said before. You want some? No. Oh, okay. No. Um, <clears throat> um, like I said before, having loved ones who are formerly incarcerated and friends who have partners who are incarcerated, that was, um, that's what I leaned into to help prepare for Marie, just kind of understanding what that dynamic is and what people go through. Um, and so, yeah, and then everything's on the page. The writing's really dope. All you gotta do is show up mm. and be relaxed and be ready to game day, you know? Mm -hmm. That's it. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you. I'm glad you didn't Thank go into you. the Navy. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> they wouldn't let me in because of my eye anyway. <laughs>